Welcome back to the YouTube audience. You're in my shed with BC and today we're regrinding some high-speed steel high-performance cutters. Uh, we're up close now you can see how I'm gulleting with the wheel and I'll back out and show you a bit more of the setup. I'm trying to follow the rake angle of the inner part of the gash there. Copy the manufacturer specs. Now you can see how the little Clarkson tool and cutter grinder has been set up. That's quite a good picture of the back of the workhead. And we'll zoom out. And there's my favourite indexing tool up on the side again. Uh, four flute cutter and I've got four slots in the indexing collar on the back. So makes it fairly easy. Okay, a bit of explanation here. I've got the workhead angled around to what I would think is a good rake angle for the area to be gulleted and I have the centre line of the cutter below the centre line of the wheel. If you've got the centre line up like that it'll chatter like hell. This way the wheel is trailing out of the gullet and it seems to grind it reasonably well. I've done the other side already so I'll give you a demo on this side. I've got another bigger cutter to gullet and as you can see it really needs it. It's got a great big chip out of here so we'll have to take it down quite away. Okay we'll make a bit of noise and grind the cutter. Now I'll take that out and I'll have a look what it's like. And here we are back again, riding a different end mill. I've put a table stop up for the Clarkson, which normally doesn't have one, and for that I've used a little milling table stop. Uh, quite an innovation, something I should have thought of many, many months ago. But anyway, we'll run through a few laps on this cutter and then I'll conclude here. These cars are proving to be very hard. Probably why they're chipped. One definitely had a collision with the concrete floor. I think that'll do the start. It's done quite a flash job, even though it's a reinforced cutoff wheel for stainless steel. You can see it's nice and bright in the gullet there, and I think I've taken it down enough to regrind the cutting edge clearance. It has one badly bing tooth just there. We'll put that up later into the workhead. Once again we'll go through the setup here. I'm indexing off this ring on the back with just a cranked arm and an adjustable um, jigsaw blade indexer. Now there's no screw adjustment on this. All I can do is set it up to the height I want and lock it with lock stud. And you can also bolt it to the front or the rear of the workhead. The workhead is angled back to 10 degrees for the primary clearance. Luckily that's all it's been needed on the last couple of cutters and bingo I've been looking at making a table stop for the Clarkson because they don't come fitted with one and I remembered I'd bought one of these very fancy American pattern um, milling st table stops so I've set it up it works 
reasonably well. It's a bit of a fart about to adjust it, so I'm going to fit a thimble micrometer style threaded onto the end of the rod. And it'll also make it adjustable for milling work, but it works quite well and threaded off the table up against one of the Clarkson brackets that holds another indexing finger. So it works quite well. Once again, a very, very good adaptable grinder. You can do a lot of things with it, but just a very small work envelope is my main complaint. All for now. Don't forget, like, subscribe, and watch me next week.